Diabetes affects over 38 million people in the U.S. and hundreds of millions globally. It's a condition that impacts how your body turns food into energy, and understanding it is the first step toward managing your health. This guide offers clear, compassionate, and science-backed insights to help you take control. When you eat, your body breaks down food into glucose, a type of sugar that serves as your primary energy source. This glucose then enters your bloodstream. To move glucose from your blood into your cells, your body needs insulin. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas, a gland located behind your stomach. It acts like a key, unlocking your cells to allow glucose to enter and be used for energy. Without enough insulin, or if your body can't use insulin properly, glucose builds up in your bloodstream, leading to high blood sugar levels. There are several main types of diabetes, each with distinct characteristics. Understanding these differences is crucial for proper diagnosis and management. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. This means the body produces very little or no insulin it typically develops in children and young adults, but can occur at any age. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form, accounting for about 90-95% of all diagnosed cases. In type 2 diabetes, your body either doesn't produce enough insulin or doesn't use insulin effectively, a condition known as insulin resistance. It often develops gradually over many years. Prediabetes occurs when blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not yet high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. It's a critical warning sign as prediabetes significantly increases your risk of developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. However, it's also a chance to intervene and prevent progression. Gestational diabetes develops in some women during pregnancy. It's caused by hormonal changes that make the body less sensitive to insulin. While it usually resolves after childbirth, women who have had gestational diabetes are at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. The causes of diabetes vary by type. Type 1 diabetes is primarily genetic and autoimmune, meaning certain genes make you more susceptible and an environmental trigger can initiate the autoimmune response. It is not caused by diet or lifestyle. For type 2 diabetes, a combination of genetic predisposition and lifestyle factors plays a significant role. Insulin resistance often develops due to excess weight or obesity, physical inactivity, and an unhealthy diet. Family history, age, and ethnicity also increase risk. Risk factors for type 2 diabetes include being overweight or obese, having a family history of diabetes, being over 45 years old, and belonging to certain ethnic groups like African Americans, Hispanic, Latino Americans, American Indians, and Asian Americans. Hormonal changes such as those during pregnancy or with conditions like PCOS can also contribute. Recognizing the early warning signs of diabetes is vital for timely diagnosis and intervention. Many symptoms develop gradually and can be subtle, making them easy to overlook. Common symptoms include increased thirst and frequent urination as your kidneys try to filter and excrete excess sugar. Unexplained weight loss can occur, especially in type 1 diabetes, as the body breaks down muscle and fat for energy. Fatigue is another prevalent symptom, resulting from cells not getting enough glucose for energy. Blurry vision can happen when high blood sugar levels cause fluid to shift in the lenses of your eyes. Slow healing sores or frequent infections are also common as high blood sugar impairs the body's healing process and immune function. You might also experience tingling or numbness in your hands or feet, a sign of nerve damage that can occur over time with uncontrolled blood sugar. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's important to consult a healthcare professional. Diagnosing diabetes involves simple blood tests that measure your blood glucose levels. These tests are crucial for confirming a diagnosis and determining the type of diabetes. 
The A1C test measures your average blood sugar level over the past two to three months. A result of 6.5% or higher indicates diabetes. A fasting plasma glucose test measures your blood sugar after an overnight fast. A result of 126 meter DL or higher indicates diabetes. An oral glucose tolerance test involves drinking a sugary solution and then having your blood sugar measured at intervals. A random plasma glucose test can be done at any time. And a result of 200 mg DL or higher, along with symptoms, suggests diabetes. Managing diabetes effectively often begins with lifestyle adjustments. These changes can significantly impact blood sugar control and overall well-being. A balanced diet is fundamental. Focus on whole, unprocessed foods, including plenty of vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Limiting refined carbohydrates, sugary drinks, and processed foods is essential. Understanding the glycemic index can help you choose foods that have a slower, more gradual impact on blood sugar. Regular physical activity is equally important. Exercise helps your body use insulin more effectively and can lower blood sugar levels. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity per week, along with muscle strengthening exercises. Beyond lifestyle changes, various medical treatments are available to help manage diabetes. Your healthcare provider will work with you to determine the best approach. Insulin therapy is essential for people with type 1 diabetes and may be necessary for some with type 2 diabetes. It can be administered through injections or an insulin pump. Oral medications are often prescribed for type 2 diabetes to help the body produce more insulin, use insulin more effectively, or reduce glucose production. Continuous glucose monitors or CGMs provide real-time blood sugar readings, offering valuable insights for managing glucose levels throughout the day and night. Emerging technologies, such as smart insulin pens and artificial pancreas systems, continue to advance diabetes care, offering more precise and convenient management options. Living with diabetes can significantly impact mental and emotional well-being. The daily demands of managing the condition, coupled with the potential for complications, can lead to stress, anxiety, and depression. It's important to acknowledge these feelings and seek support. Connecting with support groups, mental health professionals, or trusted friends and family can provide valuable coping strategies. Prioritizing self-care, stress reduction techniques, and open communication with your healthcare team are vital for holistic health. Gestational diabetes requires careful management to ensure the health of both mother and baby. It's typically diagnosed between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy through an oral glucose tolerance test. Management often involves dietary changes, regular physical activity, and close monitoring of blood sugar levels. In some cases, insulin may be prescribed to help control glucose. After delivery, blood sugar levels usually return to normal but follow-up testing is important to monitor for future risk of type 2 diabetes. There are many misconceptions about diabetes. One common myth is that eating too much sugar directly causes diabetes. While a diet high in sugar can contribute to weight gain, a risk factor for type 2 diabetes, it doesn't directly cause the condition. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease not linked to sugar intake. Another myth is that people with diabetes must avoid all carbohydrates. In reality, carbohydrates are an essential part of a healthy diet. The key is to choose complex carbohydrates, manage portion sizes, and balance them with other nutrients. Diabetes is a growing global public health crisis, impacting healthcare systems and economies worldwide. Its increasing prevalence underscores the importance of awareness, prevention, and early intervention. If you experience any of the symptoms discussed or if you have risk factors for diabetes, it's crucial to see a doctor for testing. Early diagnosis allows for prompt management, which can prevent or delay serious complications like heart disease, kidney disease, nerve damage, and vision loss. Don't wait. Your health is worth prioritizing. 
Whether you're managing diabetes or just want to understand it better, remember that knowledge is power. By understanding the types, causes, and symptoms, you can take proactive steps toward a healthier future.